Alder to Dostasia here back at you on the free play account and we are on day two here. I only play this account while I'm recording. That's kind of one of the cool things about this series here. We're literally going to see nearly 100% of all playtime here. And here's, well, here's the challenge. Here's a, I want to start my daily rewards, but I need to drop down my hero's altar, which I can finally do now that I have the appropriate town hall level, level three. And uh, sort of our short-term goal here is eventually get our town hall up to level eight because we'll be building my favorite base to use starting at town hall level eight. It does require 80 walls. So that's why we're hitting that goal here. At Town Hall level 7, I want to mention, though, that you will have the ability to have five hero bases. So Town Hall 7 is an important key level because we'll have five hero bases. And as many of you know, and many may not, this game is about your heroes that you have. And we, unfortunately, have terrible heroes. That's okay. Many of you have terrible heroes too. This account's goal is not to be a super awesome, uber insane account. It's simply supposed to be a regular average person's account. And I don't have any legendaries right now. And obviously we will all get the free legendary paladin and legendary druid as we do our daily rewards, which I've only actually done once. <laughs> Even though the account's been open for like eight days. Again, I don't play this account much, and so I'm only gonna be recording when I do. I bought the watchtower here. I am gonna drop down a watchtower. In now, past video series, I typically refrain from doing this, but I do wanna do this because we will definitely need towers to beat here monster A, simply because our heroes will be very average, ordinary, greens, blues, executioner, and frost witch. So we're going to definitely need this tower here once we get to town hall eight. And we're going to want to continually bring that tower up too. But it's not going to be a priority for us. The priority for us right now is to constantly, constantly keep a builder on town hall. We need that town hall to get to level eight, and I will not be running a single solitary. Here be monsters until I get town hall eight. I need town hall eight because I need 80 walls for my first base, the base that I truly and honestly believe is the best base for people to be in, starting at town hall level eight, all the way probably to like something like town hall 14. And it's an awesome base, and we'll start building it as we go here towards the end of this video. And then in the third video, that's when we're, we will uh, nearly flesh out the base that I'm referring to. And then in the fourth video, we will have it. Done deal. All right, let's go take a look at the dungeon here. And we got dungeon one open. And we did this first dungeon, the first dungeon in dungeon one during the tutorial. That is something you do during the tutorial. And let's just go ahead and farm this sucker a little bit here for fun, simply to level our executioner from level one to something higher. And uh, not a lot of advanced strategy required for any dungeon between the level of dungeon one through dungeon five, just to be honest with you. I mean, there's not a lot of uh, skill and strategy to achieve most of those early level dungeons, especially if you have good heroes. But even if you don't, it's basically bring troops with you and you'll be good. <laughs> we will be training up troops too. We'll be doing that later. Here is dungeon one, second one in. And uh, that one dungeon, by the way, did level the Executioner up from level 1 to level 4. And obviously, they do level very fast when they're under level 20. And we're going to want to level this sucker up. And then, once we get our Town Hall up 1, we can put Frost Witch down on an altar. And then our two heroes at that point in time will be Executioner and Frost Witch. So, the game does move slowly until you get to Town Hall 8. But just keep at it, keep going, just keep grinding, keep getting that Town Hall level up there. Keep a builder on Town Hall for sure, without a doubt, because getting up to Town Hall 8 is really where you want to be. That really does open up the game once you have five heroes. As mentioned earlier, 
the game is hero focused so once you get those five heroes that's really when the game starts to get fun that's when you start to beat here we monster a that's when you start to get experience uh, the quest board opens up at level seven and so again town hall level eight is where things get really fun and typically i would say town hall seven is where things get fun but i believe the best base that you guys should all be in and till town hall oh i don't know town hall We'll go with 14, Town Hall 14. From 8 to 14, the best base is really, really nice at Town Hall level 8. Doesn't quite work perfectly at Town Hall 7, so you might as well just wait. And it doesn't take a very long time to get up to that Town Hall level. And you can see there the executioner is just wailing away at that army camp there. Whop bam whop bam all my troops are gone. And he's taking some shots from the arrow tower right now. And he's going to take that sucker out. Here's one conundrum we're in. The conundrum is we need a name for our account. We need a name because I keep getting this very annoying pop-up that says, please enter a name for your account. Also, once you drop down your arena, we do not have our arena down right now on the base. Look around. You don't see an arena. Once you get the arena down, you get 50 honor badges per hour because of your arena rank. Even at the lowest, worst possible rank, you get 50 per hour. So we need to determine a name for our account so that we can drop down the arena and start getting those honor badges. That's the first conundrum. Number two, the number two thing that I need help with is once we name the account and we start earning honor badges, should we be investing honor badges into green and blue heroes or should we simply save them only level all of our heroes up to level 20 and wait it out for Paladin and Druid. That's going to be boring. <laughs> so we might as well take one of our two heroes, at least at least one of our two heroes up above level 20 just to make the game more fun. All right, the other thing we're going to do is we are going to require troops we're going to need troops because we're not going to have very good heroes my favorite troop is of course the hoochie mama line that's the hunter centaur fatty line so well not fatty his name isn't fatty that's just what i call him he's a very jovial happy fellow that would be the shotgun dwarf but we're really, our goal is to get up to Centaur 3. Centaur 3 becomes pretty awesome. Maybe up to Centaur 5. Who knows? But uh, once we get Centaurs, our rating is going to be pretty easy here. And as you can see, I've cycled in the Frost Witch because my Town Hall leveled up. And now what we're going to be doing is rating over and over and over again. I did kick out the video speed at this point. All future videos, or I'll say maybe starting at video four or five, will be real time, never sped up. But I am speeding up right now because eh, it's a little bit boring right now. I'm gonna not not lie to you here. So we're not gonna fast forward or do a high speed video, you know, once we get you know our town hall eight. But until town hall eight, I'll probably speed it up just so it's not painful for you guys. <laughs> I don't want you guys to have to sit through these raids real time because really all we're finding at this point is newbie bases. And I'm also getting a lot of uh, quests completed there, some accomplishments there. I'm not going to exactly specifically tell you what happens, but as you raid and steal people's mana and gold, you, you are unlocking all these accomplishments which give you gems. And what I'm doing is, I know it's kind of strange, I'm, I'm basically saving up those gems, but then I pretty much am rushing my, my town hall. Because, again, the game really, really changes at Town Hall level 8. And so I'm trying to get to Town Hall late, uh, 8 fast as possible. Normally, I would wait that out. You know, I'd wait that build time of that Town Hall out, and I would just hire heroes, roll for heroes in my hero altar, right? But uh, I'm not doing that because, again, I don't want to make this account super uber awesome. Okay, there I got my third hero base. But I don't have a hero for it. Do I hire with gems? I never hire with HP. I never hire with HP. But maybe I do it one time here. I mean, I never do that normally. And I never recommend that. 
All right, here what I realized is that I needed just a couple more gems, and so I did that one achievement there where you have to go to the social media thing and tell your friends about it. That gave me enough gems to hire up one hero from the hero altar by spending 150 gems and got the old Painda. Look at that sucker, Painda. Tenacity 405, that means he's got a lot of hit points. And uh, that's good on Painda. That makes him a little less of a softy panda. Little pudgy bird or the bandy to bamboo up in the tree. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we got three heroes at this point, guys. And our account is starting to look spectacularly dirty. As always, keep it dirty and dirty up.